good morning y'all and welcome back to another video um this one's gonna be a little bit different from anything i've ever done before i got the idea because we are completely out of food like we have no groceries so i thought um as somebody who has like a ton of kids and who loves a good deal and shops the sales and like i try to be frugal and stuff like that um i thought it would be kind of neat to do a grocery shop with me for a family of seven the way that i grocery shop because i know a lot of people have like their grocery store that they go to for everything but i don't do that i actually grocery store hop to three sometimes four stores um just like depending on what's on sale that week and um I do that to get the best deals and get them the most for our money. So as you can see in the background, um, I just pulled up at Aldi. Aldi's one of my favorite stores. I get probably at least half of our food from Aldi. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go from store to store, take you along with me, show you how much I spend at each store. And when I get home, I'll do like a haul from each store so that you can see exactly what that amount of money gets. And hopefully it will just, I don't know, help somebody out when it comes to grocery shopping, especially if you do have a big family like we do, um, because times are tough, it is expensive out there, especially to eat. And um, that's all kids like to do, if anybody hasn't noticed that before. Kids like only like to eat. So yeah, I'm gonna run in here. And like I said, I'm gonna get probably about half of what we need. And then we're gonna, I have a Target pickup next, which is right down the road. So I'll take you along with me um, to grab that and then we'll head home. And then later I'm gonna go to Costco. Those are my three go-tos. And if I ever have to fill in any blanks, I usually just go to Walmart. Um, they have a few things that I get, but I really don't shop at Walmart very much anymore. Um, and then occasionally I even go to Publix because believe it or not, Publix is super expensive, but they have some really good sales. So always hop on your apps and check out the sales for these stores that generally cost more. Also, I did put on makeup this morning, but this lighting is like not my friend. It looks like I have no eye makeup on. So, okay, should have done that from the start. Anyways, let's run into Aldi. So here's everything that I got from Aldi. This was almost $172. So not too bad, especially when you'll see, I, I do shop, I'm a pretty picky shopper. I buy um, as organically as possible, especially when it comes to the Dirty Dozen, which I'll pop up on the screen for you here. That is basically the 12 um, produce items that have the highest level of toxicity from pesticides so um, strawberries is actually the number one offender along with spinach so just good to know i know organic is definitely more expensive and it does not mean that it does not have pesticides so please do not be fooled by the usda label um they are better alternatives but they are not perfect the only perfect produce is the produce that you grow yourself which i cannot do in an apartment unfortunately so that being said almost 172 dollars and the only non-food items were napkins which they have the best deal on single packs um, i'm gonna check out the price of nap napkins at costco today though and do the math and see if it's a better deal and then this i'm ashamed of myself <laughs> Not really. Life is about balance, right? Um, if you're not new here, you know that I definitely try to not use toxic products in my home, especially like synthetic fragrances and stuff like that. But every once in a while, I have a craving to burn a candle and I use diffusers all over my house, but sometimes you just want a cozy candle going. And they have these soy blend candles, which are slightly better for you than 
any traditional candle. Um, they were on clearance for $4.99 and this one is co aloe and coconut and it smells so good and so summery. Your favorite? Oh good, I have Blippi here who's probably gonna be interrupting. Um, and then fresh lavender and thyme. I thought this would be good for like, I don't know, an evening, relaxing evening candle burn. So that was $10, this was like two thirty, I think. But um, I'm not going to go through everything super detailed because I didn't want this to be a grocery haul video per se. Yes, Bean. Um, I wanted more just to share like how I shop, where I shop, how much it costs for as many of us as there are. And also just the quality of the food that I get for that price. So I have lots of chips here. Um, like I said, I do try to buy... <laughs> as healthy a food as I can, but I have a husband and a teenage son who are just not going to eat only that. So the ramen, the chips, a lot of the junk food you see here is for them. This bread, I cannot get um, all of my children to eat healthier bread. So this is for me, this is for me, and um, usually this little guy will eat healthier options, but that one. And her big sister, big brother, absolutely not. Um, love these little organic baby pouches for this guy over here. They're only a little over a dollar at Aldi, so I always stock up on those. Lots of produce, lots of berries. Got one of each. Um, and I'm glad that berries are coming back in season because they were super expensive for a while there. And I actually had strawberries in my Target pickup and then went to Aldi and found that they had them in stock for $2 cheaper. So wasted a couple dollars, but organic avocados. I love these because they're smaller. Rotel, knockoff Rotel for my 16 year old. Cottage cheese for a snack. Salsa for taco nights. Jelly for, or preserves I guess it is for sandwiches. Garlic just because I needed garlic. Bananas. I got two big things of jalapenos because they were super cheap and I'm going to make my own pickled jalapenos as well as uh, homemade pickles I'm almost out of. I want to do pickled red onion and then maybe banana peppers. We'll see. Um, spaghetti sauce and lots of organic pasta, whole wheat spaghetti, a couple salad dressings we were out of. Um, this guy, seriously, loves these and they have them in spinach broccoli and kale flavor too which we already have but he was asking about the orange ones the other day so we got sweet potato veggie straws uh knockoff goldfish um those are the only chips that are for me i do love salt and vinegar chips these are for my 16 year old um these are good dye free kind of healthy-ish fruit snack alternatives lunch meat organic hot dogs and then lots of, I like to get the solid white tuna, albacore tuna in water. It's just chunkier and it's a little bit better for you. And then canned salmon. I make my own salmon patties, which pretty much everybody will eat. Chicken breast, two packs, super expensive. But I find that um, Aldi, I think, has the best deal on organic chicken, which is important to me. And then chicken sausages. Love these. Definitely the best price at Aldi block cheese because I like to shred it. I like to shred it myself. It's better for you that way because it doesn't have the anti-caking agent in it and it tastes better. It melts better and it's cheaper because you have to do the work yourself. <laughs> and then some sandwich cheese. So that is everything from Aldi and I'm sorry about the noise, but they are just not going to leave the food alone. Like I said, that's all they do is eat. So here's Aldi. We have a straggler, forgot this guy. He was sitting on my counter, but y'all saw me put him in my car at the store. <laughs> All right, here is my little baby Target haul. I don't get an awful lot there because it is a little bit more expensive, but if you get on their app, a lot of stuff is on sale on there and they have like special discounts just for shopping through the app or just for doing a pickup. So almost everything here was actually on sale this week, which is why I got it, but I get these from Target every single week because it's the only place I can find them. They're, they're just healthier Pop-Tarts. They don't have dyes in them or anything like that. These for my little guy over there who's ready to have some right now. Hi, Poo -poo. 
<laughs> I get my organic coffee from there. I always buy coffee organic because the pesticide level in coffee is like through the roof. Their dark roast espresso blend is my favorite organic coffee and I have tried them all and it's also really affordable. This is the family's favorite tortilla chips and they were on sale this week. Pepperoni for my preschoolers lunches or just lunches in general. Um, my three-year-old doesn't really eat any sandwich meat, just pepperoni. So got that. These were the overpriced strawberries, which I found out later at Aldi. <laughs> they were like five something at Target and only three something at Aldi. So celery, everything good and gather organic is on sale this week, by the way. Um, these cheese snack bars are our favorites. They're so much better than Walmart's. Baby spinach for my smoothies. Um, we were out of dish, dish soap, so this is honestly not the cleanest, you know, dish soap that I could get, but it's on the better side. It's affordable and it has a really like subtle scent, which I like. And then baby wipes, which were also um, a dollar off this week, I think, so. All of this somehow was a little over 50 bucks, but a lot of it was, these were almost 20. So the grocery items were like 35-ish or so. So not too bad. Now the fun part about Costco, figuring out where everything's going to go without any bags or boxes. All right wasn't that bad we got it all in there now to get it up my stairs all right two hundred and fifty dollars oh later this is what two hundred and fifty dollars will get you at costco which i will say this is not a weekly occurrence usually when i go to costco it's like once a month if that to get like stock up on stuff and today was that day because we were just out of everything yes i know we're gonna have that for dinner um, because things like the meat, um, will last us like at least a month. And then these packs of like burgers and meat, like stuff like this, it goes further. Obviously that's kind of the point of bulk buying, um, like peanut, like we're not going to go through two massive jars of peanut butter in like a week. So, um, just disclaimer, although I'm including this in this video, it's just to show you why I get these things at Costco because they're definitely the best deal there and like the types of things that I get and how much they cost in my area which I live in Georgia I don't know if I mentioned that in metro Atlanta technically we're almost an hour away from the city though but anyways let's get into what everything costs and the main thing I want to mention is the meat um, because it is absolutely the best deal at Costco this is nearly eight pounds of ground turkey like each one has let's see 1.7 pounds in each, uh, you know, thing here, package. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. And it was $23.99. So I will actually cut these in half and bag them um, into sandwich baggies. And it makes it stretch so much further that way. Um, same with the ground beef, which you can see this is organic ground beef. This is four pounds for just over four pounds for 20 bucks. So... Another really good deal, I'll cut these um, actually into like two thirds each and then that last third from each one into another bag and that's where you get the four pounds. This is an eight or a 10 pack of chicken burgers. They come out in different flavors and they're really good and I think they're about $15. Um, but this is basically like either two dinners, two to three dinners for our family because not everybody will eat these or a couple of dinners and a few lunches for me because I just heat them up and eat stuff on the side. Same with these meatballs. I love making like stir fry bowls with the meatballs and these are maple bourbon. So they're kind of like a fallish flavor, but um, I thought it still sounded really good. So um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'll do with them, but like I said, I do love using them for dinners. These pouches, if you have kids, you know, you have to have the pouches. These were on sale this week and were actually cheaper than the Costco brand. So, um, and there was four more of them because the Costco brand only has 24. So I think these were both around, these were 12 something and then these were um, right around the same price. Um, so stocked up on those. They will not last very long in my house. Hopefully a couple of weeks, but we'll see. 
mac and cheese, Annie's brand. It's about the healthiest that you're gonna get with processed mac and cheese. Um, it was on sale this week also for an excellent price. It was 12 something, so less than a dollar a box or right around a dollar a box, I guess. Um, I get my frozen berries at Costco for smoothies. I find that they're the best deal. Two baby watermelons, I think these were $8. Um, buying your produce, like I did the pineapple and like this and cutting up yourself definitely is a money saver. Their almond butter is only $6 for a big jar. It's a great deal and this is so good with like apples or just on toast. Um, this is for, this is not for me. Um, <laughs> this is for mostly my husband. He likes crunchy peanut butter and this was on sale. I think it was only seven something for two huge jars. I don't know if you can tell. These are like, these are big. Um, so that will last a long time. Maple syrup, this is pretty pricey. Um, I, it's gone up like everything else. I think it's around 15 now, but it will last us a long time. This was a one-time purchase. Um, I'm just making these for dinner tonight because I wanted something quick and easy after being out shopping all day. These were on sale. I love these. They're kind of like the Aldi ones where they're really uh, clean ingredients as far as any kind of fruit snack type thing goes. And they'll last a pretty long time because my kids don't love these like they do junky fruit snacks. So they just don't eat them um, constantly. <laughs> so I like that. Um, this is the knockoff Kerrygold Irish butter. Whoops. Definitely the best deal at Costco. I think it's like 10 something for this and they're nice big bricks of it. Um, I can get it at Aldi, but it's still, it's a much smaller, not much smaller, but a smaller package. And it's like three something, I think just for one. Uh, these organic tortillas, it's a two pack. There's a ton of them in there. You can see there's almost 40 and it's only four something for this and they're, they're organic. So I feel like you're not gonna get a better deal than that. Coconut water is about 10 bucks at Costco. Use this in my smoothies every day. Trying these for the first time, they were pretty expensive, but they do have good clean ingredients um, for the most part and uh, there's veggies hidden in them. So I like that. And I, I'm getting into more of making my own things, but granola bars are, you know, I just don't have a ton of time. So I got these anyway, long story short, and hopefully they're good because they were kind of expensive. Um, these everyone in my household loves and we go through them so fast, which sucks because this box is like 16 something and they'll probably be gone this week literally so i really don't even like buying them because i do not like buying things that are expensive that we just blow through but i did anyway for today um hopefully we can make them last at least a week and a half or two weeks but i think that's everything i don't think i missed anything um i do have one more grocery pickup in the morning from walmart it's a little 55 dollar grocery pickup so I will be doing that last to complete this video, but, um, and I will give a grand total at the end. I think I'm near the $400 mark, but like I said, not all of this is just for this week. Um, a lot of this you see here is gonna last for at least the month, if not spill over into a second month. So let's go ahead and package up our meat or portion out our meat, I should say. And then I will see you tomorrow when I pick up my Walmart order. Okay, coming at you from the future, or maybe the past, because I actually picked this up Saturday, and I had no time to record because my son was taking his driver's test that morning, and it was just like a whole thing, but this is the last little bit of my massive weekly grocery haul slash monthly, I guess, and this was from Walmart, and it was right around 50 bucks. I'm going to pull everything up at the end of the video for y'all. For a grand total but most of it has been gotten into by now as you can see because it's been a few days but um just organic lettuce two packs of these yogurt drinks that my daughters eat applesauce grape jelly just, just random stuff we were out of there's actually two canes of spaghettios but one already got eaten baby puffs that are already 75 percent gone our favorite breakfast sausage this stuff is so good very expensive but so good and then these for my 16 year old which he had for lunch today and regular yogurt tubes and these popsicles i've been making my own popsicles but these are good to have on hand for when they run out or they're just different like these are like 
more like the ICs, but they're dye free because they're organic and they don't have any crap in them. Um, and the ones that I make are more like a frozen like smoothie pop basically. But yeah, this is it. And now I'm gonna tally everything up for y'all and come to a conclusion, I guess. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is it for my four store all day grocery haul extravaganza video <laughs> um i know i know some of y'all are thinking she's doing too much it is a lot it takes me all day and as you saw it even can spill over into the next day i had to go run and do a pickup the next morning so um it takes a long time but it's worth it especially right now when prices are just through the roof so i hope that this was insightful for even just one person especially if you do have a big family like me um, it's really important right now to get the most for your money, especially when it comes to feeding your kids. Um, I know that I said that I thought I was in the vicinity of like $400 between all four stores, but it turns out I had a grand total of about $546. So over budget, <laughs> not really over budget, but um, more than what I thought. But like I said um, during, you know, some of the clips, this was not just our weekly grocery haul like it was but it was also a monthly grocery haul in terms of like stocking up on meat and um what else a lot of like bulk snacks for my preschoolers lunches and just you know my kids in general while they're at home there was a lot of that the stuff that's going to last for at least a month or even maybe spill over a little bit into the next month so it seems like a lot but when you think about it, it's for seven people and it was for more than just this week Typically my weekly expenses are, I try to keep it 200 or less. So if that gives you any idea of how much of it was for the month versus for the week. But either way, those are the stores that I shop at on a weekly basis. Those are the items that I get at those stores at a, on a weekly basis. It's just that I don't always get all of that on a weekly basis. So hope that made sense. Also, if you're still here to the end of this video, I know that my whole videos got pretty long, but y'all are my ride or dies and I truly appreciate you. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you are still here, leave me a comment, especially if you're new, um, let me know that you were here. I love getting to know everybody and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Obviously, I'd love to have you stick around and it helps my channel out so much since it is still pretty new, but I also just do tons of like motherhood, homemaking lifestyle content um, as well as some like vlog style videos days in the life and travel vlogs we are going to the beach next week so if you're a beach lover a florida lover stay tuned stick around because i definitely have a beach vlog coming up anyways i'll stop talking for now i hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and i will see you in the next one bye